Well, I went yard sailing uh, today. Did real good. Paid a buck for this. One of these adjustable universal wrenches. Can't beat the price for a buck. It looks like it's never been used. This here, I was told, is some kind of a wrecking bar to like pull up old decking and stuff and uh, it has a good size handle on it and you can hammer I guess on one end here's a pull up uh, boards and stuff when you're replacing in the deck I was paid a buck for this it's uh, I would say it's about 14 inches long or so total and oh yes I got this for a dollar too at the same yard sale Pretty neat, huh? And little attachments, uh, different size sockets that go in there. I wouldn't consider using this for heavy automotive use because it's uh, just made for light duty use and also can be used as a screwdriver. Of course, I'm the one that writes this on there because I'm always opening these things upside down and everything falls out all over the place. This is a mysterious pop rivet gun. I got it at the same yard sale. So actually, I spent more than uh, $3. Each one of these items that I'm showing you, I paid a buck for. I've never seen a pop rivet gun like this. Apparently, it uses these little things here. These little, I guess they're aluminum, they're very lightweight. They screw on to the end of that, and then you squeeze them, and it makes it like a rivet. But I've never seen any, I have no, no idea. I've never seen anything like this. I have no idea what they use them for. The paper that came with it shows you how to use it and everything else. And each one comes with a different nose piece that you screw in there because they're different size little collars. And it shows you when you squeeze it down, it bulges out and uh, makes the connection. I got this for a buck. And uh, the reason I got it so cheap is when he fired this up, when he first plugged it in, we had sparks coming out of here. And... Um, Right away, I figured, well, the brushes, the brushes were probably bad. But you know what? It only did it that one time when he tried it out over his, uh, at his uh, garage. And uh, after that, it was fine. So I'm assuming there was probably something that was just in there. I tried it about five or six times, and it, it ran just fine. I'm going to run this thing now and see, uh, you know, make sure it's okay. Uh, I have a couple of routers. But I don't have anything as small as this. Here's the um, on and off switch right here. How well you can see that. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to look for... I did see some sparks. Maybe some steel wool or something might have gotten in here and everything. We're going to see. I haven't turned this on now since uh, early this morning when I uh, checked it out. So we're going to uh, do it now and see what she does. Let's just run here. Sounds good. Now the reason I'm shaking it is because uh, I want to make sure there isn't anything in there that could get up in there and uh, spark around or anything. And uh, sticking my big snozzola in here. I don't smell anything burning or anything else, so uh, we're going to try it again now, but this time a little farther away from the camera. So we're going to turn it on again now. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. I'm dimming the lights. It's dimming the lights. I don't know. There is something wrong, I guess, on this. Well, I got the top or uh, the cover off. I just had two screws here. And uh, I don't have the greatest eyesight, of course. I checked the wires in there off camera here and didn't seem to be any problems. But uh, something is definitely not right with this. And I'm not quite sure what it is. And I 
It could be the brushes, but you know, it's hard to tell until I pull them out. I might just do that. There's only like a screw here, and there's a screw here, and the brushes should come right out. It might just be a brush problem. Uh, commutator might need to be cleaned. But uh, I don't see any sparking on the brushes, at least wise through the grill. Well, I'm going to fire it up now using uh, with the cover off and see what she does. Here we go. I'm going to flip the switch now. Shake it. Look, it's dimming the lights. I can see that. There's definitely a problem there. It could just be the brushes. Could just be the brushes. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the uh, take one of the brushes out, take them out one at a time here, and look them over and see what they uh, look like. <clears throat> so I'll try to get this in the camera view as much as possible. We take out, we take out one brush here, and just a little little plastic cover here, and uh, hope I'm still in camera view here. All right, and here's the the brush. And we always try to take out the brush so it's faced the right way. You don't want to put it back in the other way because there's a wear pattern on this. So uh, we'll set this down here. Do a better position here. Now, the brushes don't look, uh, they're not really worn down all that much. But this is uh, what they look like. This is the spring, there's nothing much to them. The brushes look pretty good, so I have a feeling there's some other issues, but I'll pull out the other brush and I'll look at that. I got the other brush out, and that looks, uh, that looks pretty good. Need a little, little groove in there. Need a little lines in there. Now, I can't really, uh, tell too much by the commentator by looking into through here, because my eyesight is bad, but, I mean, there could be some shorts in the, in the windings of the commentator. In here, um, I have to take the whole damn thing apart. And with my eyesight, I don't like working on small stuff. So the price I paid for this, well, it's too bad if it, you know, it does work, but it's uh, definitely sounds like it's got a short in it or, or something, because it dims the lights here in the shed when I'm uh, shaking it. Um, so there is a there is a problem. It could even be a loose wire in there, but I checked around. And uh, here goes my phone, and uh, found uh, nothing t nothing loose here. My worst fears uh, have come true. I found out why it's doing it. It's not the brushes. Don't appear to be the commutator. It's the rear bearing is worn. Hard to do this on camera, but I'm taking my finger. You can see the movement of the rear shaft here. So this bearing in here is worn. Uh, so this thing's uh, worn out. That's why I didn't smell anything because it wasn't an electrical problem. There's no burnt smell whatsoever in here. It just got a bad rear bearing. Okay. Taking this plastic pen because you don't want to use a screwdriver in here. Gently putting it against the commutator. See the damn, see that? See, that's pretty bad. That, that, that bearing is shot. So, well, I saw when it was sparking uh, that there was a problem, but oh well. You can't win them all on yard sales. For a total of $5 at the yard sale, counting this, I don't think I did too bad. Well, that's my yard sale find video for today. All my yard sale stuff goes in here. I left the cover off yesterday when I went yard sailing. Close it up now because, uh, you know, it's supposed to rain tonight.
Don't do anything I wouldn't do, and if you do, don't name it after me. Thank you.